That's all part of a tawasi bil haq. Wa bil sabr. And among that haq, among that truth, is a sabr. Advising one another and helping one another and assisting one another to be patient. And the secret in this, and Allah Jalla fi is best, is that when you seek knowledge and you act upon it, so you brought Iman, Bishart, and you with the condition of al of knowledge, and you brought al amal salih righteous actions, and you told other people about them. Tawasa bil haq, you told everyone, this is a righteous action. Brother, come and pray. May Allah bless you. You know, I think it would be good if you did this. And you're doing that. What are you going to need? You're going to need sabr. You're going to need sabr. Because when you do that, you're going to get a piece of what the prophets got. Rejection, ridicule, attack. When you're just being genuine. Being genuine with people. Just being genuine with people and just trying to help people and give good advice, you're going to get some other, some harm come your way. People, oh, you had to advise me, giving you anger, giving you problems, not listening, rejecting, just look at what you say and just ignore everything you said. Calling you names, making problems for you. You're going to need sabr. Not only that, sabr is much wider than that. Sabr is also needed in your Iman. In order to preserve your Iman, preserving your Iman, because Iman goes up with good deeds and down with bad deeds requires Sabr. Doing good deeds requires Sabr. How much Sabr? Five times a day you come to the masjid, five times every day in the masjid. You do your adkar afterwards, it needs Sabr, patience. Keeping away from the haram requires Sabr. Haram is there. Your soul wants it, it craves it, but no, I'm not going to do it. It requires sabr. Giving people advice requires sabr. All of this surah requires sabr, right? Requires patience. And that's why some of the scholars, they divide patience into three types. Patience in doing good deeds and patience in avoiding sins and patience in what Allah decrees for you when you do that. Whatever Allah has decreed something which is hard for you, easy for you, something which is comfortable for you or uncomfortable for you, whatever Allah has decreed, but you have that, that sabr with it. And you work not only for sabr, but towards a rida, contentment. That, you know, Allah, you're the best one who can choose for me what's going to happen to me. So I'm totally trusting you for what you choose for me, that it's, it's going to be an opportunity for me to do good. Whatever, even if it's uncomfortable, like poverty or sickness. I don't wish for sickness. I don't wish for poverty. I don't raise my hands and say, oh Allah, make me poor, make me sick. But whatever comes to me from the decree of Allah while I'm making dua for wealth and I'm making dua for health and I'm making dua for success, whatever hardship comes my way, I know Allah chose it for me. And I know Allah chose it for me because it's the best opportunity for me to get close to Him. So I'm going to be content with that and have sabr with it. And contentment, rida, be happy with it. Because I know that Allah chose it for me and He's Arham al Rahimin, the most merciful of those who show mercy. So I know that He's chosen it for me because it's a good opportunity for me. It might not be good fi haddi dhatihi in of itself. Like, for example, if you just looked at it on its own, like, oh, I just became really sick. Fi haddi dhatihi, it's not good. If you look at it just very narrow lens like that, just zoom in on it. And nothing else. I got sick. I might die. I might uh, not be able to pray properly. I might not be able to stand to pray. I might not be able to pray in the jama'ah. But when you look with the wide lens, you open up your view to everything that's going to happen to you. There's opportunities in that for you to get closer to Allah. Better than the opportunities of you being healthy at that one time. Because Allah chose it for you. And Allah chose it for you. This is the best opportunity and that requires a sabr. Al-Imam al-Shafi'i said about the surah, if nothing was revealed to the people other than this surah, it would be enough for them. And wallahi sadaq, he told the truth. That if the only thing Allah revealed to the people is surah al-Asr, a kafat, it's enough for them. It's more than enough.